In this video, we are going to continue with combining functions. You will find this on page 106 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. Given f of x is equal to this and g of x is equal to this, find g f and now it's not a number, it's a variable. f g meaning if it's not nothing, it's actually meaning this an x. Okay, and g g x. So let's start. Take note. All we are re really doing is substituting the second function into the first function. Okay. So I always, especially in the beginning, if you struggle a little bit, I like to make use of arrows. So if you will see, if I say f, then go to f. Take f and throw it into g in the place of x. So start rewriting there. So free, then you throw in that bracket, minus 1, and then you just simply. This one, remember it's fg. Now I will go to g. So I go to g and I throw it, but there's more than one x. Every time I see an x, I throw that bracket in. And that's what I did there. Be careful, that one is square. So do the short method, square. The first one, so 3x times 3x, multiply, uh, multiply with 2, square the next one, and then simplify. And then the final one, g, g, x. Just rewrite that g uh, function two times. Okay. And then take the one and throw it into the other one. Okay. But it's actually the same function. And then I get this. Expressions give an algebraic answer in terms of a. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number 1a, b, and then we will skip c and we will do d. Okay, let's start. Number 1a. Okay, I have G, oh, let's, let's rather start with it like number 1, and then I have the two functions, G, X, equals 2X plus 5, and HX of X equals 3X squared. Okay, now we start. Now, the first one is number A. Is H G X. So I go to G, I go to G, I, now I'm going to do that. Okay, I go to, okay, I'm going to do that for the first. I go to G and I throw it in the place of. Okay, now I want to undo it, so this is what I'm doing. So the reason why, because I want to use the function again. Okay, but did you see what I did? I take G and in there. And don't forget your square. And then don't forget, don't multiply in if there's a 2. So you first have to multiply that. Either do the long way or the short way, where I square the first term. I multiply the 2 with each other with multiply 2. So this is 10x multiplied 2, so that will be 20x. And then I square the last one. And then I will get 12x plus, oh, oh I, and I, I see my mistake. I hope you also saw my mistake. There was this must be a square. So it's 12x squared plus 60x plus 25. Oh, 3 times 8 plus 75. Okay, let's do the next one, number B. Now it's G, H, X. Again, I'm going to show you, and then I'll undo it. You go to H. You take that, and you throw it into G in the place of X. Okay, did you see that? Because I'm going to undo it. So you're going to start there. I'm going to make it green. 
So you take this one, throw it in there. So it's 2, and then it's 3x squared plus 5. And that's going to be 6x squared plus 5. And that will be your final answer. Okay, let's do the last one. I think I'm even going to make space for the last one. Now I can leave the arrows. Oh, no, it will not work because I'm doing um, both. Okay, let's do number D. Now this is H, H, X. So it's almost like I, I'm going to do it here. I rewrite H another time. And if I must indicate it with an arrow, go to H, throw it in X. Okay, so if I'm doing that, I'm going to say 3, and then 3X squared, and I'm going to square. Okay, so that's going to be 3, and if I square that one, 3 times 3 is 9, X squared times X squared is X to the power of 4, and then if I'm going to say 3 times 9, that's 27x to the power of 4. And that's not so difficult.